What is going on guys? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today is gonna be a typical workout video where I'm gonna run you through what I'm doing, explain the sets and reps, but the workout style is gonna be a little bit different as you're gonna see. So it's gonna be for one, a full body workout. The exercises that I'm gonna pick are gonna be a little bit different than the normal typical bodybuilding, um, typical things you see on the channel, typical things you see on YouTube. I wanna show you guys that you can mix it up a little bit and you can have a little bit of fun. Being that I'm an athlete at heart, I've always played sports my whole life and now that I'm not in a specific sport, I'm not playing college football, I'm not doing anything as far as um, physical activity in an organized way, I still like to stay in shape, I still like to go play football with my buddies and um, yeah, I just like to be overall athletic to make sure that I'm not becoming super one dimensional. So. Today's workout, you're gonna see, um, call it what you will, um, it may be uh, considered a little bit of CrossFit, but honestly guys, my take in fitness is do what you enjoy and um, do what you're gonna sustain in the gym, what's gonna get you to the gym and what's gonna keep getting you to the gym. So if that means CrossFit, if that means um, something a little bit off the wall, I don't really care. As long as you're using proper form, you're being smart about it and you know what you're doing and you know why you're doing it, and if one of those reasons is enjoyability, that's fine by me. So, like I said, I'm gonna take you through the workout. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and if you do like this type of workout, let me know below. I love your comments, and um, yeah, thank you guys for the support. I just hit 15K, which is unbelievable, um, and I just wanna say thank you guys a ton. So, um, today's actually uh, Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas Eve if you celebrate Christmas. If not, happy holidays, and um, yeah, let's get this workout. Did I ever tell you a story about my Uncle Julius? No, I don't think you did. Oh man, he was the coolest dude back in Cleveland. Everybody loved him. All right, he's got nine kids and he drove the bus, but dude was never not happy. What happened? He won $2 million in the lottery and then got severely depressed, all right? Lost it all within a year and now he's back to driving the bus. Happy as hell. You lost me. All right, dude, let me just tell you. Things come and go. Money comes and goes, teachers come and go. Sometimes there's greater forces at work than we're aware of. You know what I mean? You just gotta roll with those fucking punches. You know? Bobby Damn. Lee. Just got really deep on me there. You know, I get my philosophies on every once in a while. Dropping gems. Love it. Generally, you think what you hear on the radio is terrible. I think basically it's a product, and the reason why it is being manufactured is basically just to make money, and it, it, it seems to me to have very little to do with the, um, the basic reasons for making music in the first place.
And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you kind of know that I like to mix things up already. But um, one of the things that I like to kind of address and kind of talk to you guys about, especially because I have a lot of new followers, is that I always like to remain, like I said, athletic. But I have my foundations in the strength and as well as the aesthetic sort of portion of fitness. So it just really all depends on, like I said, how I'm feeling that day. But my main kind of goal and my main sort of like motto is that I don't want to ever compromise any of my athletic ability to get bigger in the gym. So I always want to stay athletic. I always want to work on different things. So if it, it might, might, might not be optimal in terms of a bodybuilding mindset or optimal in terms of a strength sport sort of mindset, um, but for me, like I said, enjoying what I do in the gym is like most important um, because with, with being so busy with running online coaching business, with running um, a business on the side, um, uh, uh, photography and videography business, as well as my personal training in person, I have a lot of sort of things that I'm kind of trying to juggle and make sure that I'm being successful with. And on top of that, I want to make sure that I'm enjoying what I'm doing in the gym. So um, with that being said, it's kind of one of those things where you have to kind of understand um, that your optimal is always gonna be different um, between you and someone else. So um, what, what's optimal out there doesn't necessarily mean it's optimal for you in your own life and your own circumstances. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you can kind of understand why I'm like mixing things up all the time and you're like, Joe, what the heck are you doing? Well, that's kind of why. So hopefully that makes sense and yeah. And like the exact same thing could be said for my diet. I try to enjoy myself. I try to eat things um, that I like because you're only here one time, we're only on this earth one time and you wanna enjoy things that you like for one. But at the same time, I have a lot of family history of medical problems, genetically, things that I really can't control. But the one thing I can control is my diet. So being able to keep that in mind and not necessarily scaring myself, but at the same time, sometimes scaring myself into saying, okay, no, we need to make the healthier choice here and we need to go to the gym and maybe do some cardio even though it might not be great for our bodybuilding goals, but cardio is gonna help us stay in better shape. It's gonna work out our cardiovascular system, something that's very important. So things like that are something I always try to keep in mind, guys. It's not always just about the fitness of it. It's not always just about looking better. It's not always about that. It's always about enjoying what you're doing and then also just living longer, in my opinion. So that's just something I think about as a trainer. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are younger, so keep that in mind, guys. Don't just ultimately think about um, the, 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 the gains, if you will. Just think about um, a little bit a little bit deeper sometimes so um, I don't know just wanted to mention that because that was something I was thinking about and I think that um, it would help you understand a little bit more and kind of kind of get a little bit more insight in my mindset of how I view fitness and um, yeah but anyways